They were kind of a rare one uh, for a while. They weren't at first, and then they stopped kind of coming out this way. And then they opened their distribution over to the coast here on, in Oregon, and so now I can find them again. I'm very happy. They are an expensive one. I mean, you're looking at anywhere from six to eight, nine dollars a can, for sixteen. But this one is a big one, actually. It's a tart it was basically a sour ale I, I imagine it's a well it's a fruited sour ale um i don't really get into details eight and a half percent though like total double it's a tart they say tart ale with blue raspberry vanilla and cotton candy flavors so it's got some adjuncts added and it is a tart ale which in my opinion that sounds kind of like a pastry sour or something like that and these guys are kind of known for that too so that's that that's what that looks like it's called the blue raspberry fluff I want to say I've had this before actually at the brewery but I can't remember when I drank so we'll find out this one I go over at Bridge and Tunnel over in Astoria at the, uh, the bottle shop over there Dwayne shop thank you Dwayne for having this available um, yeah, they're hardcore with their apps. They got the, oh, whoops, they got independent craft as well. But you go in there and you order with your your phone, so you got to get the app on your phone and then you order there. It's like that uh, covid -y thing or something. But um, date on this can 517, so it's like a month old, <laughs> almost a month old or so. But let's go ahead and pour this. Let's pour this. I've kind of been trying to. Let's see. I'll roll it. <laughs> I'm rolling it. Okay. So I'm going to get it all over my keyboard. Oh, whoa, dude. So not what I was expecting. It looks like slime or something from Ghostbusters. What the hell? Dude, this is crazy. No, this looks like an actual, like a fruited sour. It doesn't look like a pureed sour at all. Pour to finger head. Let's get into the nose. Oh my god, vanilla. There's a little slight, like, cracker, biscuit, pilsner thing. You get vanilla, though. You get a slight, a slight blueberry in there. More of a candy, more of a cotton candy, like a blueberry cotton candy or something. Yeah, you get all the, you get all those elements though. It's sizzling. Hear that? It's sizzling down though. The the head retention is it's fair for a sour like this. Um, just shaking down some bubbles. I mean, it is a hardcore leprechaun beer. It actually looks more turquoise in my... It, I think it's more of a turquoise color. Almost pushing kind of a swampy algae green or something like that. Um, it is kind of seeable, throughable. <laughs> it's not so opaque. It is a little translucent. Um, but you can't see... You can not You can only see shadows. Um, Bubbles, carbonation, probably like a medium light carbonation. Yeah, it's already kind of settled down, but it's kept kind of a nice little rim on the top there. It didn't, the, so the retention's decent for a sour. Not too bad. It's kind of holding its ground. Yeah, let's drink this. Cheers, I'm, I'm dying to try it. Wow, man. That's actually good. <laughs> Tastes like cotton candy. It's got tart. It's got the tartness, lactic acid, 
kind of like that um, with the vanilla kind of tastes like vanilla like yogurt or something but then you get like this the vanilla also mixes with the cotton candy so you're getting like a sweet cotton candy like uh, essence in this it's so it's it blows your mind it's <laughs> And you get like a blueberry, kind of almost a blueberry raspberry or, bl or black, like blackberries and blueberries. It's soda pop like, it's fizzy in the mouth. That's the mouthfeel of the body is, um, let's say like light, pushing medium kind of. Uh, it's kind of like medium light, medium, medium-ish. Um, and it, it leaves kind of a, oof like a heartburny kind of feeling in the chest just from the lactic acid but the sweetness and the vanilla uh, the sweetness of the of the cotton candy and the vanilla it's kind of marshmallowy and cotton candy like it's fluffy like they say it's so um, it, it's deceiving it looks all like thin and weird and you're drinking and it's like a little more viscous than than you would think you know it's really nice I really like this. This is really interesting. It tastes like I'm eating cotton candy. There's a little lemon in there. I get a little lemon, maybe a little lime, some citruses like that. Um, I get kind of a cookie or a graham cracker or something in the back. There's a, a kind of a heartburny kind of how to throw up, like kind of comes back up feel. Um, I'm just going with it. I, I went blurry. These Logitech cameras are dumb. There we go. Look at that. Thanks, Logitech. It's very fizzy, though, and it has a sweet, tart kind of feel to it. It's tart, but it has a sweetness. It's not a sour tart. Definitely a sour, a fruited sour ale, though. And I'll probably have turquoise poops in the morning or something. Or pee. <laughs> Look at that. I, li I, I like this, actually. I couldn't have more than one in a day, though, because of the tar. It's so lactic y, acid y. <laughs> it's so acidic. It's like, um, I don't know. It's, 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 it's not hard to swallow, though. You just want to keep drinking it. Like, I want to, I'm going to bring this over to the house and watch some more YouTube and drink this um, but hey man out of 10 hops I would easily give this just because of the impression it, it I, I didn't think that you know the color uh, I didn't think it was gonna look like this the, the head retention was nice it's even still got kind of a rim it 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 scared me when I looked at it and then I drank it and, it, and I was like wow I, mean, I felt like I was at like a carnival or something you know riding around with cotton candy in my mouth I mean it was that it brought you into this world so I really like that and I, I was very uh, interesting to feel that kind of reaction to this they always have a way these guys have a way of of, of making it right with their beers man they, they know how to I don't know mix and match flavors and stuff they're per they get very good with that so out of 10 hops, I'm going to give us 9.5 hops. I'm just kind of summed up. It was perfect. Like, everything that was said on the can, even the color blue of the thing, you know, you're like, okay, what's going on here? Is this is, okay, this is going to be a, I, well, oh, raspberry, that's why, blue raspberry. I got blueberry and raspberry. Crazy. I don't know where I'm getting blueberry. Maybe the earthiness or something. I don't know. It was really good. Um, yeah, 9.5. Very good. These guys have a way of like making it real, though. So if you can get your hands on them, it's not something to pass up. So check them out. They're, uh, New England IPA is really good, too. So, All right. Well, you guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. Not after one more sip. Cheers. Cheers.